I'm Bambi Francisco, and I'm with Adeo Resi. He's the founder of The Funded, and we're going to do something different today. We're actually going to go through The Funded. Um, Adeo is going to walk me through. As an entrepreneur, he's going to show me how I can use it to uh, find really good information about VCs I may or may not want to speak to. Correct. Hi, Bambi. So uh, I've had the fortunate uh, pleasure of reading thousands of profiles and uh, thousands of reviews, so I'll, I'll quickly give some uh, tips. So uh, as you can see here, we're looking at a firm called Wellington Partners. They're a top-rated firm. So by the very fact that they're a top-rated firm on the site, mm -hmm. uh, that, that, that means good things. So they're likely to be a good firm to invest in. Or, or to have as an investor the just top because. Firm based on what, 3.8 or what? Good, good question. So you'll see uh, the list on the left hand side of the screen is always rank ordered by the average review across five categories. So Spark Capitals rated 3.9, Wellington Partners, who we're looking at, is rated 3.8, and those are today the top two funds. The 3.8 rating for Wellington Partners, which you see here, comes from a component average of five subcategories. Track record, which is how, uh, how good have their other investments done from the perspective of entrepreneurs who know them. Operating competence, which is how uh, helpful are these guys in your day-to-day -day operations. For example, you may need to make a decision about taking uh, a QA service. Can they really give you good guidance on that? Pitching efficiency is, of course, how easy is it to pitch? Some mm -hmm. funds put you through six to 12 months of diligence before closing. Other funds will close within mm -hmm. a few weeks. Uh, favorable deal terms, again, pretty obvious. Are you gonna get a 3X participating preferred or a really generous deal to the founders and other shareholders. 3x meaning they tend to be typically better favorable for the well. The uh, 3x uh, participating means preferred means that the investors get three times their money. Oh no, no, back. I'm saying 3.6 meaning closer to four means they're more favorable to entrepreneurs. Correct. Yeah, I everything's that. from the perspective yeah, yeah. of entrepreneur, Got and it. five means better. Good question. And last but not least, the last component review is execution assistance. And a lot of people will say, what's the difference between operating competence and execution assistance? Operating competence is the ability to provide valuable operating advice, mm -hmm. whereas execution assistance is, you know, if I pick up the phone, will you answer it? If I need you to fly to a meeting with another investor, will you go there? Mm -hmm. If I need your help closing a client, will you do it? The operating confidence is, can you do it? The execution assistance is more, will you do it? So if we go back up, you'll see that, uh, again, a firm and, like... And well, a VC can't actually go in there and manipulate that. No, though they'd like to. <laughs> you know, uh, you'll see that, uh, for example, Wellington. So the first clue you get with Wellington is these guys really have a good understanding of operations because uh, their operating competence is 4.1, and that's a very high rating, because mm -hmm. it's not really 0 to 5, mm -hmm. it's 1 to 5. Um, and you'll see, if you look, you see the component rating. So they got one review of 1 mm -hmm. and eight reviews of 5. Uh, so you see the actual counts of the reviews. So a lot of entrepreneurs think that uh, people at Wellington Partners really know what they're doing, mm -hmm. and they also believe that they'll get their hands dirty with uh, execution assistance of 3.8 and try and help you out. So that that's a pretty good overall score, and that, that would be my first indicator of what to look for. On the flip side, they don't give you uh, the best possible deal terms with the 3.6. And so for entrepreneurs, I mean, I guess because there's, I mean, how... We talked about this in our other interview, but um, how can how can they um, feel confident that the information on the site is accurate? Well, the other thing to look for, so this fund has 15 reviews. Someone like Sequoia will have uh, 50 or 60 reviews. So I think the quality of information goes up with the number of reviews. So that's the other thing, good question I would look for, is how many people have rated it. 15 is actually a pretty good number. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say anything over 10 is good. Most of the funds that you see here 
will have over 10 because that they, every fund with over 10 reviews goes to the top of the list by default and then is rank ordered. Mm -hmm. So 15 I'd say is good, but there again, there's some funds on this list that have 50 or 60 reviews and then it's obviously much more credible. Interestingly enough, with 50 or 60 reviews, mm -hmm. Sequoia has the highest track record in the industry and if you look at their deals from Google right. Uh, historically to EA and things like that, they probably deserve it as well. Do you rate the, the reviews as well? Can they get higher stars so those could be Correct. Up at the Correct. So if you scroll down um, a little further, you'll see there's an agree and a disagree Oh, so button. the ones most with, the, with the most agree yeah. checked will bubble up to the top? Correct. Okay, uh, well, not, not, not in this, but you can sort by that way. So right now, uh, a lot of people aren't commenting on Wellington reviews. But okay. again, you'll see reviews that people vehemently disagree with and agree with. But okay. one thing I gain, uh, sorry, you were going to ask? Um, well, the other one thing for an entrepreneur, um, you probably have had some um, cases where entrepreneurs, I mean, the, what percentage of the comments are anonymous and what percentage? Um, oh, the ve almost all the comments are anonymous. anonymous. I'd say maybe 1% are actually attributable to a specific CEO um, because if they don't actually fill in their name, mm -hmm. they use uh, a name, for example, that they create as a username. So 1% uh, of people sign their name to the posts. Does it surprise you that there, you know, some of the information is, is pretty accurate or fairly accurate and it's, I mean, there's lots of snarky remarks there, but um, overall you can get some people actually offering some fairly decent Well, commentary. not at all, because what happens is you see a context at the top. That's very important to read. So the way to successfully gauge a fund, you quickly look at the numerical reviews, get a sense of what people are saying numerically, you know, are they helpful, do they know what they're doing? Then you go down into the content and you back it up with reading. You'll see that this person closed a deal. The context is they closed a deal. There are all these markers mm -hmm. for members that show what the relationship between the reviewer is with the fund. Mm, okay. Now, uh, when you read then that they are good with operations yeah. and that they're you know fairly accessible through execution assistance, and you see comments like, straightforward, competent, and you can then read the backup data, what you're actually seeing is uh, a pairing of, hey, the numbers are being substantiated by the written reviews. Mm -hmm. The written reviews are coming from people who have closed deals with these funds. Mm -hmm. So they're speaking from experience, right? These mm -hmm. funds are on their board. Now you form a picture, right? Similarly, this is a great example. You might see a badly a uh, numerically rated fund mm -hmm. with low net scores mm -hmm. with a lot of negative written reviews mm -hmm. and the two correlate. You have 300 funds. What percentage of the funds are certified? I mean, what percentage of there, the There are 3,750 funds? Uh, funds approximately. And 300 VC firms have actually taken ownership of those funds, And right? certified them, correct. And that gives you a whole other level of diligence because mm -hmm. now the funds are talking about their uh, view on themselves right. and you can correlate that. So if you scroll back up, uh, you'll see that this fund describes themselves beyond the glossy and true corporate presentations you below. They're a group of people who are passionate about what they do and, and they go on to talk about, you know, we're very competent operators in life sciences, etc. Okay. Now, uh, of course, everything is vetting out with what the fund says themselves. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, if you want to ch do a third check that's very useful, I recommend then you look at the partner reviews. Mm -hmm. So You can go through the people, right? Right. Each yeah. individual partner, all the way at the bottom, um, will have reviews. So oh, if that's you, great. you scroll up a little bit, these are the list of partners. Uh -huh. um, and you can see stars, uh, thumbs up. This, this uh, Frank, for example, here has if, two stars, so he's obviously. If you're a VC that's certified, you actually you you get this basically. You, well, all VCs have this, but oh, okay. if you're certified, you can fill out things like your specialty. So oh, Frank, okay. who has been rated two stars by entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. is a specialist in digital media and services as okay. well as software. 
And so you can start creating a picture of a fund when you look at all the data in as a whole. The yeah. numerical ratings, the written reviews, who's writing the written reviews, are there people funded right. by them, and what are they saying about the partners themselves. And that gives you a very good sense of what's working at a fund and what's not working. So again, Wellington, case in point, right here, I can tell you right now, just from glossing over the data, that the members of the fund, in, and I have, I've, I've never met a single person from Wellington, so I don't even know if this is true, but just glossing over it right here, they, are, they have a decent number of partners with good operating experience, yeah. and mm. those guys do step out to help entrepreneurs where they can, sure. and entrepreneurs respect well, that. With so many VC firms out there now and angel networks, it actually maybe it's an incentive for them to get on here and uh, market themselves to all these entrepreneurs. Well, awesome. you know, it's it's a carrot and stick scenario. Yeah. I would say yes, but they're afraid of you know what, what happens. Gonna if say. But they people don't. are going to say something about them anyway, possibly. So, but anyway, thank you for my personal tour. Anytime, Bambi. I've been speaking with Adeo Ressi. He's the founder of the Funded. I'm Bambi Francisco.